Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before watching the video please subscribe to my channel. This video is about What is Cryptocurrency? A cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that is secured by cryptography, which makes it nearly impossible to counterfeit or double spend. Many cryptocurrencies are decentralized networks based on blockchain technology a distributed ledger enforced by a disparate network of computers. A defining feature of cryptocurrencies is that they are generally not issued by any central authority, rendering them theoretically immune to government interference or manipulation. Understanding Cryptocurrencies Cryptocurrencies are digital or virtual currencies underpinned by cryptographic systems. They enable secure online payments without the use of third-party intermediaries. Crypto refers to the various encryption algorithms and cryptographic techniques that safeguard these entries, such as elliptical curve encryption, public-private key pairs, and hashing functions. Cryptocurrencies can be mined or purchased from cryptocurrency exchanges. Not all e-commerce sites allow purchases using cryptocurrencies. In fact, cryptocurrencies, even popular ones like Bitcoin, are hardly used for retail transactions. However, the skyrocketing value of cryptocurrencies has made them popular as trading instruments. To a limited extent, they are also used for cross-border transfers. Blockchain. Central to the appeal and functionality of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is blockchain technology. As its name indicates, blockchain is essentially a set of connected blocks or an online ledger. Each block contains a set of transactions that have been independently verified by each member of the network. Every new block generated must be verified by each node before being confirmed, making it almost impossible to forge transaction histories. The contents of the online ledger must be agreed upon by the entire network of an individual node or computer maintaining a copy of the ledger. Experts say that blockchain technology can serve multiple industries, such as supply chain, and processes such as online voting and crowdfunding. Financial institutions such as JP Morgan Chase and company, JPM, are testing the use of blockchain technology to lower transaction costs by streamlining payment processing. Types of Cryptocurrencies Bitcoin is the most popular and valuable cryptocurrency. An anonymous person called Satoshi Nakamoto invented it and introduced it to the world via a white paper in 2008. There are thousands of cryptocurrencies present in the market today. Each cryptocurrency claims to have a different function and specification. For example, Ethereum's Ether markets itself as gas for the underlying smart contract platform. Ripple's XRP is used by banks to facilitate transfers between different geographies. Bitcoin, which was made available to the public in 2009, remains the most widely traded and covered cryptocurrency. As of November 2021, there were over 18.8 .8 million Bitcoins in circulation with a total market cap of around $1.2 trillion. Only 21 million Bitcoins will ever exist. In the wake of Bitcoin's success, many other cryptocurrencies, known as altcoins, have been launched. Some of these are clones or forks of Bitcoin, while others are new currencies that were built from scratch. They include Solana, Litecoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and EOS. By November 2021, the aggregate value of all the cryptocurrencies in existence had reached over $2.1 trillion Bitcoin represented approximately 41% of that total value. Are cryptocurrencies legal? Fiat currencies derive their authority as mediums of transaction from the government or monetary authorities. For example, each dollar bill is backstopped by the Federal Reserve. But cryptocurrencies are not backed by any public or private entities. Therefore, it has been difficult to make a case for their legal status in different financial jurisdictions throughout the world. It doesn't help matters that cryptocurrencies have largely functioned outside most existing financial infrastructure. The legal status of cryptocurrencies has implications for their use in daily transactions and trading. In June 2019, the Financial Action Task Force FATF, recommended that wire transfers of cryptocurrencies should be subject to the requirements of its travel rule, which requires AML compliance. As of December 2021, El Salvador was the only country in the world to allow Bitcoin as legal tender for monetary transactions. In the rest of the world, cryptocurrency regulation varies by jurisdiction. Japan's Payment Services Act defines Bitcoin as legal property. Cryptocurrency exchanges operating in the country are subject to collect information about the customer and details relating to the wire transfer. 
China has banned cryptocurrency exchanges and mining within its borders. India was reported to be formulating a framework for cryptocurrencies in December. Cryptocurrencies are legal in the European Union. Derivatives and other products that use cryptocurrencies will need to qualify as financial instruments. In June 2021, the European Commission released the Markets in Crypto Assets MICA, regulation that sets safeguards for regulation and establishes rules for companies or vendors providing financial services using cryptocurrencies within the United States, the biggest and most sophisticated financial market in the world. Crypto derivatives such as Bitcoin futures are available on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has said that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. Advantages and Disadvantages of Cryptocurrency Cryptocurrencies were introduced with the intent to revolutionize financial infrastructure. As with every revolution, however, there are trade-offs involved. At the current stage of development for cryptocurrencies, there are many differences between the theoretical ideal of a decentralized system with cryptocurrencies and its practical implementation. Some advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies are as follows. Advantages. Cryptocurrencies represent a new, decentralized paradigm for money. In this system, centralized intermediaries, such as banks and monetary institutions, are not necessary to enforce trust and police transactions between two parties. Thus, a system with cryptocurrencies eliminates the possibility of a single point of failure, such as a large bank, setting off a cascade of crises around the world such as the one that was triggered in 2008 by the failure of institutions in the united states cryptocurrencies promise to make it easier to transfer funds directly between two parties without the need for a trusted third party like a bank or a credit card company such decentralized transfers are secured by the use of public keys and private keys in different forms of incentive systems such as proof of work or proof of stake because they do not use third-party intermediaries, cryptocurrency transfers between two transacting parties are faster as compared to standard money transfers. Flash loans and decentralized finance are a good example of such decentralized transfers. These loans, which are processed without backing collateral, can be executed within seconds and are used in trading. Cryptocurrency investments can generate profits. Cryptocurrency markets have skyrocketed in value over the past decade, at one point reaching almost $2 trillion. As of December 20, 2021, Bitcoin was valued at more than $862 billion in crypto markets. The remittance economy is testing one of cryptocurrency's most prominent use cases. Currently, cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin serve as intermediate currencies to streamline money transfers across borders. Thus, a fiat currency is converted to Bitcoin, or another cryptocurrency, transferred across borders and, subsequently, converted to the destination fiat currency. This method streamlines the money transfer process and makes it cheaper. Disadvantages Though they claim to be an anonymous form of transaction, cryptocurrencies are pseudonymous. They leave a digital trail that agencies, such as the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI, can decipher. This opens possibilities of governments or federal authorities tracking the financial transactions of ordinary citizens. Cryptocurrencies have become a popular tool with criminals for nefarious activities, such as money laundering and illicit purchases. The case of Dread Pirate Roberts, who ran a marketplace to sell drugs on the dark web, is already well known. Cryptocurrencies have also become a favorite of hackers who use them for ransomware activities. In theory, cryptocurrencies are meant to be decentralized, their wealth distributed between many parties on a blockchain. Ownership is highly concentrated. For example, an MIT study found that just 11,000 investors held roughly 45% of Bitcoin's surging value. One of the conceits of cryptocurrencies is that anyone can mine them using a computer with an internet connection. However, mining popular cryptocurrencies requires considerable energy, sometimes as much energy as entire countries consume. The expensive energy costs coupled with the unpredictability of mining have concentrated mining among large firms whose revenues running into the billions of dollars. According to an MIT study, 10% of miners account for 90% of its mining capacity. Though cryptocurrency blockchains are highly secure, other crypto repositories, 
such as exchanges and wallets, can be hacked. Many cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets have been hacked over the years, sometimes resulting in millions of dollars worth of coins stolen. Cryptocurrencies traded in public markets suffer from price volatility. Bitcoin has experienced rapid surges and crashes in its value, climbing to as high as $17,738 in December 2017 before dropping to $7,575 in the following months. Some economists thus consider cryptocurrencies to be a short-lived fad or speculative bubble. How do you get cryptocurrency? Any investor can purchase cryptocurrency from popular crypto exchanges such as Coinbase, apps such as Cash App, or through brokers. Another popular way to invest in cryptocurrencies is through financial derivatives, such as CME's Bitcoin futures, or through other instruments, such as Bitcoin trusts and Bitcoin ETFs. What is the point of cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrencies are a new paradigm for money. Their promise is to streamline existing financial architecture to make it faster and cheaper. Their technology and architecture decentralize existing monetary systems and make it possible for transacting parties to exchange value and money independently of intermediary institutions such as banks. Can you generate cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrencies are generated by mining. For example, Bitcoin is generated using Bitcoin mining. The process involves downloading software that contains a partial or full history of transactions that have occurred in its network. Though anyone with a computer and an internet connection can mine cryptocurrency, the energy and resource-intensive nature of mining means that large firms dominate the industry. What are the most popular cryptocurrencies? Bitcoin is by far the most popular cryptocurrency followed by other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, Binance Coin, Solana, and Cardano. That's all for today's video. If you like the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.